Hey guys, how you doing? Rodney Samuels here. This video, I'm going to talk to you about title companies and what they do and their role in your wholesale real estate business. Um, first thing I want to talk about is how to choose a title company. Very important that you choose the correct title company to do your deal. Um, once you have your contract signed with the seller, you're going to take your take that contract and give it to a title company so that they can start running a title search on it. Okay. And you want to make sure that the title company does assignment deals because you're going to be assigning this contract to an end buyer. You have to make sure that they do assignment deals. Okay. Some title companies don't want to do assignment deals for whatever reason. Some of them will do it, but they might charge double transfer taxes because it's too two buyers kind of so to speak because you're the buyer and then there's going to be another buyer so but a lot of times you can get around that um a lot of most of the title companies i've come across they um when they do assignment deals they do not charge double transfer taxes okay so make sure they do assignment deals okay call them up ask them if they do it secondly i'm going to talk to you about what they do title searches go and they do sort of a background check on the house that's exactly what it is. They go back many years. I believe they go back at least 30 years, at least where I'm from. And they check all of the, the deed transactions. Every transaction that happened on the deed, they want to go back and make sure everything was good. All the signatures were okay. Um, so that you don't have any problems when you go, when you're ready to sell the house. They also find things that, um, any liens that are on the property, any back taxes, any old water bills, any type of utility bills, any types of mechanics liens, any type of judgments that are on the seller. Sometimes a seller may have a judgment against them that gets attached to their real estate, to their property. That comes up in a title search also. Now, the way that this can affect your deal is, let's say, for example, you have a property under contract for $50,000 and the seller says to you, yeah, I owe a little bit of back taxes on it. Let's say they, they think they owe $5,000 of taxes, okay? Now, the title search is done. The $5,000 of taxes comes back. That's, that's fine. He knew about that. But let's say that the title company also revealed that there's a judgment on that seller that got attached to the house for another $5,000. Now, the seller is getting less money than they expected, Okay? Now, that example isn't too drastic, but I've been involved in situations where liens came up that were unexpected and wiped out a good portion of what the seller thought they were going to get back at the end of the transaction. And things just get crazy after that. So those are things that title searches will bring up. That's why it's very important that you get a title search done, get it done with a good company. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of right now. Um, just make sure you get your title searches done uh, in a timely fashion. Um, some of them do charge up front for it. So you might have to work that out. Hopefully you can find yourself a cash buyer very quickly once you get the contract with the seller so that you can have the seller pay for the, pay for the title search. All right. So please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Uh, hit the notifications button so that when I put up a new video, you'll be notified. All right, take care. See you next time.